Hi friends, this is Gani. In this video, I am going to explain you how to create this type of base plate, stiffener base plate, just like this. Before going to create this type of base plate, for more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash gunny sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under the videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos here i hope this video might be helpful to you for more tecla structure related videos at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when i upload a new video so please click on subscribe okay let's start before going to create this type of uh, base plate connection i'm going to take a new project go to the menu take new click on new click on create yes click on this icon and close it and drag this window and maximize it go to the steel and select the column and place it here and then double click on the column we're going to change the elevations at the bottom Elevation make it zero. Click on modify and close it. After that, for base plate, go to the application and components by using the shortcut Control F on your keyboard. And in the search box, uh, type base B A S E base. Here, so many types of base plates components available in application components. So go to the bottom here select this stiffener base plate 1014 component and close the window select the column and pick the intersection of the grid right click on mouse interact here you can see this is the default base plate connection as per our requirement then double click on it And close it come here first of all go to the anchor tab click on anchor tab here for example we require one inch dia anchors so enter here one inch instead of three by four change three by four to one inch rod and nut and wash also then click on modify here you can see the changes at here now this anchors and nut and washer should be one inch after that here you can see this is the grout if you have grout you can enter here the thickness how much you required the grout if you don't have any grout then make it zero click on modify here you can see now there is no problem after that uh, for anchor rod sizes you can control from here in this option you can control the total length of the anchor and uh, radius and width from these options you can change the shape of this anchor rod also click on here browse from this list you can change the anchor rod profile from these options l and j uh, u and this type of anchors um, I'm going with default L type anchor. After that, go to the bolts tab. In the bolts tab, also you need to select the bolt size one inch because we are going to take the anchor rod is one inch. So when you uh, take this one inch uh, anchor option here, then with the tolerance five by sixteen, you will get the hole in the base plate one inch five by sixteen hole size. After that, come here. You can control the number of uh, anchors in the lengthwise and widthwise from these options. For example, here enter the four and uh, distance between the anchors are seven inches, and here are the number of bolts two in the widthwise, and enter the distance between the two anchors are seven inches. Click on modify. Here you can see now. Now this 4 indicates the number of bolts in the 
lengthwise here you can see 1 2 3 4 and in the widthwise these two indicates the number of holes 2 and here 7 indicates the distance between the two anchors are 7 inches in the widthwise and this 7 inches indicates the distance between the two anchors are 7 inches here and here also. After that come here these two indicates the edge distance from anchor to edge of the plate here and here also in the widthwise also here you can see 2, two inches indicates the here from anchor to this edge and this anchor to this edge. After that, uh, go to the stiffener. Uh, up to now, we have seen we, we also controlled length of the base plate. Here you can see 7 inches plus 2 plus 2 inches is the total length of the base plate, and in the widthwise, also 2 plus 2 plus 7 inches is the width, width of the base plate. But uh, what about thickness? For thickness, you can go to the parts tab. In the parts, here you can see plate thickness is 3 by 4, means the plate thickness should be 3 by 4. You can control from this option. For example, I am going to take half inch thickness of the base plate and enter here the half inch and click on modify. Here you can see now the, this thickness should be half inch. Just like that, uh, you can control the thickness and width and length uh, by using these options up to now we have seen. After that, uh, for stiffeners, go to the stiffeners tab. In this stiffener, uh, I am going to take, for example, I require this option web stiffeners. For web stiffeners, select this option, click on modify. Here you can see we have the stiffener here in the web stiffeners. For web, web stiffeners, uh, length you can control from this option for example take length is 6 inches and width uh, let's take 4 inches click on modify you can see these are the web stiffness you can control the length and width from these two options for this chamfer value you can control from here uh, for example take half inch chamfer of the stiffener click on modify here you can see this is the half inch stiffener chamfer. For example, take uh, uh, one inch chamfer. Click on one. Just like that, you can control from these options. Let's take uh, three inch chamfer. Click on one. Just like this. Two inch. Like that you can control the chamfer value and width and length as per your company standards. After that, uh, for this flange difference, come here. Uh, okay, here you can see for width wise and length wise you control but uh, what about thickness of this uh, stiffener? Then go to the parts, stiffener thickness, come here. Here you can see the horizontal plate, enter here the for example, we are going to take this thickness should be 1 by 4, then enter here 1 by 4, click on modify. When I click on modify, you can see the changes here. Now this stiffener plate thick thickness should be 1 by 4. After that, for here flange stiffeners, go to the stiffeners once again, come here and select this option, click on modify. Here you can see these are the stiffeners. Uh, for example, we are going to change the length and width of this stiffener. Come here. For example, we required we already know 7 inches distance between the two anchors and the width of uh, total width should be 11 inches. So we are going to change this width of the stiffener also 11 inches, then enter here 11 inches and take the height 6 inches click on modify here you can see now the width of this stiffener is 11 inches and height 6 inches just like this what about this stiffener you can come here and enter here the value 6 inches height and width uh, let's take 4 inches click on modify here you can see now this is the width is 4 inches and height 6 inches. 
you can control this chamfer value from here if you don't need, require any chamfer here then enter the value 0 0 click on modify here you can see now the chamfer is gone uh, about this chamfer value enter here let's check 2 inch by 2 inch click on modify now this 2 inch by 2 inch for example take 1 inch by 1 inch uh, you will see the changes here just like this you can control from these options i am going to take 2 inch by 2 inch chamfer you can ok here yeah, that's it uh, this thickness also 1 by 8 according to this uh, thickness you can see the parts 1 by 4 for example i am going to take 1 by 8 here you, you will notice that the thickness here when i click on modify you can see 1 by 8 just like that you can control at a time this thickness and this different thickness from this option i am going to take 1 by 4 here click on modify here the this thickness should be 1 by 4 now what about this thickness uh, this thickness uh, you can control from this option let's take 1 by 4 inch thickness of this stiffener when i click on morphe here you can see the changes now this stiffener thickness should be 1 by 4 just like that you can control the stiffeners number of stiffeners and thickness and length and height and everything when you click on modify apply ok and close it retrieve view once yeah this is the stiffener base plate if you have any doubts please comment below if you like this video please like it and share it for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under the videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos I hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification updates when I upload a new video so please click on subscribe thank you